If I wear the same socks for a week straight, will my feet smell like roses? Or will they be smellier than a can of anchovies? Well, if you guess smelly, you're onto something. I'll probably stink everyone out in a 10 meter radius. <laughs> Am I less likely or more likely to get a two, four, or six? Those are the even numbers that you have learned about. Five, that's an odd number. Four, this die likes four. Remember, it's die if it's singular, it's dice if it's more than one die. See, dice, die. Three, that's an odd number. Two, that's an even number. One, that's an odd number. Now, the reality is you can get equal results, at least in theory. <laughs> in other words, you are equally likely, that's what I meant to say, to get a one or a five or a three, the odd numbers, as you are to get a two or a four or a six, the even numbers, because there are three even numbers and there are three odd numbers. So you are less likely or more likely? No, you are equally likely to get two, four, or six. Yeah. One of these bad boys, that's a die. Two of them, dice. Let's look at the probability of rolling a die. Two. Three. That is not a one or two. Three. Not a one or two. Five. Not a one or two. Three again. Four. Not a one or two. I'm less likely to get a one or two when I have a six sided die because it has the numbers one through six. And that's why I'm not very likely to get one or two. I'm more likely to get three, four, five, or six. Ah! Be sure to subscribe, watch full length episodes below, and God bless. We're gonna deal with cards one through 10 here. Let's put them into the drawer. Draw a number smaller than seven, or draw seven, eight, nine, ten. If I have the numbers one through ten, well, let's pick one without looking. Is it gonna be smaller than seven? Hey, it is, it's two. It's smaller than seven. Okay, let's do it again without looking. Is the number smaller than seven? It's eight. That's bigger than seven. Let's do it one more time. A number smaller than seven? Two. Am I more likely or less likely to draw a number smaller than seven? Six. How many numbers are there that are smaller than seven? Well, there are six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, not seven. Okay, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you have seven, eight, nine, ten. So you are more likely to draw the smaller numbers. You are less likely to draw the numbers seven, eight, nine, ten because there are only four of them. You are more likely to draw the numbers one, two, three, four, five, or six because there are six of these numbers. Yeah. We're shuffling cards, one through 10. Are you more or less likely to draw a two digit number? Hmm, let's pick one at random. Here we go, not gonna look. This one, now I'm gonna look. Hey, it's a two. Okay, let's do it again. That was a single digit, not a two digit number. Wait a second, numbers one through 10. That's right. So a two digit number between one and 10, that's just 10. That's right, it's the number 10. Okay, I'm not looking, I'm gonna draw another 
Here we go. Oh, I lost it. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go, this one. It's a four. Four. That is not a two digit number. This is the only two digit number. The other nine cards all have a single digit. So it is less likely. You could even say it is unlikely that I would draw a two digit number without looking when I have the numbers one through 10. Are you more likely or less likely to draw a prime number if you have cards one through 10? Welcome to the bonus section, by the way.